Hi, now let's learn how to sync a Pro Tools session with a QuickTime Movie. The first step is to import the QuickTime Movie. To do so, I'm gonna go to my File menu item and select Import and select Video. Then I will pick the QuickTime Movie that I want to work with I'm going to select to import the audio from the file. That means that the audio will be automatically added to a new stereo track. And the location is going to be at the session start. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to select um, an audio file folder where uh, my audio from the movie will be um, imported. As you can see, automatically Pro Tools added the voiceover and audio track from the movie and also it added a video track for a quick preview of the movie. The movie window allows me to see the movie of course and this window can be resized by simply right clicking and selecting the size that you prefer. At this point I need to make sure to um, tell Pro Tools where the movie starts in terms of SMPTE code. So I'm going to go to the setup menu, select session, and in the session start field I'm going to punch in the, the exact same SMPTE uh, code at which the movie starts. Also make sure to select the right time code rate, in this case I pick 29.97 drop. The next step is to tell Pro Tools where to sync bar 1 of my sequence. And basically the idea is that you want to have bar 1 synced up with the first frame of the picture of the movie. In this case, the picture uh, doesn't start right at the beginning of the movie, but uh, starts after a few uh, black uh, frames. So I'm going to find first where the actual um, movie starts. The movie starts actually at 0, 01, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So the final step is to tell Pro Tools that I want bar 1 synced up with this frame and to do so I'm going to go to the event menu select time operations and select move song start this allows me to move bar 1 to a specific location and what I'm going to do is to specify time base in time code and I want to move the start of bar 1 to 0102000 Zero, zero, and click apply now as you can see my bar 1 is synced with the first frame of the picture so if I go back to the beginning I will have some black and then my bar 1 right in sync